In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to use a bay leaf to help open up your throat chakra. Our throat chakra is located right here. It has a lot to do with Mercury, the planet Mercury. It has a lot to do with our communication, our voice, our ability to speak up and say how we feel, what we feel. Um, just there's a lot to go in with our throat chakra. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, then let's head into this. Now, I have my notes here and the throat chakra is basically something that, like I said, helps you speak and communicate. Say if you want to go to an interview um, and you want to activate your throat chakra. Sometimes our chakras can get blocked, they can get weak, they can get clogged, they can start spinning slower. Um, and so this spell is just to tap into our chakra and just get it where it needs to be for our highest potential. And so for us, when it comes to our speaking and our throat chakra, say you're going to the interview, you want to make your voice heard and known and persuasive and seductive and charming and alluring, right? You want to nail that interview. Or say you're about to have a really, really important conversation with somebody and you wanna get your point across. This would be a great spell to do for those kinds of things. And overall, just in your own form of expression, how you speak, how, your tone of voice, the confidence in your voice, the allure in your voice, the charm in your voice. So you want to do this spell for those kinds of things. So what you're going to need for this spell or ritual, whatever you want to call it, for our throat chakra to open up our communication is going to be peppermint leaves. You can use peppermint essential oil as long as it's all pure peppermint oil. You can also use um, peppermint tea as long as it's 100% natural peppermint. Um, these are actually peppermint leaves from my own garden. And so I just love using it for this purpose. So what you're going to need is that and a bay leaf. And we're gonna get into how to draw that symbol. That symbol is for our throat chakra. And I'll tell you what to do with it in just a few seconds. The next thing you're going to need is a fire safe dish. So this is my abalone shell that I use. I burn my bay leaves in here. Just recently cleaned it. And <laughs> you're going to need a lighter. You're also going to need a blue marker or a pen. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can use black or a Sharpie. Just make sure that it's like Something permanent, something that will stick and not just bleed away because this is our intention. So we don't want it to bleed away, right? So this is the symbol that we are going to be drawing in our bay leaf. Let me, t let me teach you guys how to do that really quickly. You're going to take your marker or your pen and what you're going to do is you're going to draw a straight line. And then what I like to do is just make it really dark and bold. And then you're going to go down like you're making an eye. And then you're going to curve. You're just going to curve just a little bit like you're making an A, like, you know, like an A. And then this little swirl right here, what I like to do is like I'm pretending like I'm making a snail. And I'm just going to swirl it. And even if it's a little bit wonky or crooked, that's okay. Um, the universe and your spirits and your guides, they know what you're trying to say. So that is going to be the symbol for the throat chakra. And what you're going to do is with that same marker or that same pen, but I'm going to just show you with the Sharpie so that you, you can see the difference and like what I'm doing and what I'm writing is you're going to sign your name. So I'm just going to sign my name right now, right there, because when you sign your name, you seal something. So what you're doing right now is you're sealing that your throat chakra is going to be healthy and active and bring you all the favors that you need and, and be active to your highest potential for your highest good. All the all these things, right? So you want to sign it and seal it. And then what you're going to do is take your bay leaf and you're going to... This is what I do, okay? So I'm, I, I squeeze the peppermint in between my fingers to get the essence and the aroma out and your fingers do you see how my fingers are turning a little pinkish your fingers are heating up 
So at that point, you're just warming all of this up. That's why I like to use fresh. And I kind of just crumple them on top of my bay leaf. And when you use um, dried peppermint, it's really, really easy to just crush it up. If not, then what you could do is rub. Just rub it on. Rub it on. The essence is already in your fingers. It's heated up by your fingers and your energy. So just rub it on. You can also drop a little bit in your fire safe bowl. And then the last thing you're going to do is burn it. And a lot of people question that like if halfway through it stops burning, uh, what do you do or is what does that mean? It means for me, what I believe it means, it's a block. So my throat chakra might have a blockage right now. So what I do is I just burn the block away. That's just, that's how I work and that's what I do. So after this, you're going to blow the ash into the wind or you're going to put it in a potted plant inside the home or outside the home. Or if you have a plant outside your house, like in the dirt, you could put it in there. You can anoint a tiny bit underneath the cup that you drink from. You can anoint your necklaces and anything um, around that you wear around your neck, scarves. Um, you can also anoint your throat chakra. So right before an interview or anything like that, you can use this. And yeah, that is going to be the spell. I hope you guys enjoyed that spell. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you guys want any more videos from me, I have probably now in my collection over 300 videos that I have not released here on YouTube because those are videos I really can't over here on YouTube. So I talk about a little bit more deeper stuff on my Patreon. There's over 300 videos, over probably 200 blog posts and photos and all that stuff. So if you guys want more information and want to connect with me more, head over there. But other than that, what else did I have to tell you? Oh yes, go visit my shop. Go enjoy and browse. We have a sale going on almost every single weekend. So go enjoy yourself and nothing comes to you without leaving my altar first. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.